Several software programs exist to determine the axial capacity of driven piles and drilled shaft foundations. The software programs that were utilized for the TRC-1204 project included FBDEEP and SHAFT. Utilizing the geotechnical properties that were obtained, as discussed in the previous video, these parameters were input into the software programs to determine the axial capacity of the drilled shaft foundations. In the interest of time, and for the purpose of this video, only the FBDEEP software program will be discussed. The FBDEEP program was developed by researchers at the University of Florida for the Florida Department of Transportation. The software program is currently managed by the Bridge Software Institute at the University of Florida and is freely available to the Arkansas State Highway and Transportation Department. For the FBD program, site-specific parameters like the soil type, the blow count value, the total unit weight, and the undrained shear strength, as obtained or correlated from SPT or CPT data, are required. The FBD program determines the CPT parameters by utilizing empirical relationships as developed for typical Floridian soils based on the work of Schmertman in 1967 and Bloomquist et al. in 1992 to convert the SPT data to CPT data or by using direct CPT data. The axial capacity is then determined within the FBD program by using the relationships developed by Schmertman 1978, Busamti and Gianicelli 1982, and Bloomquist et al. 1992. So how do we use the FBD program? When the FBD program is opened, the program requires that the SPT and CPT analysis with database toggle is selected. Following clicking OK, the main page is available to the user. The project information is then entered and the insert range tab within the shaft geometry window is selected. By clicking on the insert range button, the variables, casing length, diameter, bell length, minimum length, maximum length, and increment within the input boxes may be modified. When designing a drill shaft foundation, the maximum length and increment should be selected such that the design length and the corresponding required capacity will be achieved within this range of length values. By utilizing the range, the capacity as a function of depth, also known as the QZ curve, is developed. A single length is typically selected for development of the load movement curve. The capacity calculation, R percent, is a way to determine the capacity for a given amount of movement. Another important parameter that must be input is the water table elevation. After entering the range of length values, the boring log button is selected from the top ribbon. The boring log information is then entered within the boring log data section in the pop-up window. The calculator button within the ribbon identified as Show Capacity Report Brief is then selected and the capacity data as a function of depth is output. Likewise, the eyeglass button above the calculator button within the ribbon, identified as Show Capacity Report Detailed, is selected and load movement data is output. This data is then copied into Microsoft Excel and plotted.